Hello students, today we shall perform an activity to find out total surface area of the combination of solids. Here we have some solid objects like cube, right circular cylinder and right circular cone. Let us recapitulate the total surface area of a cube. The edge is A, so the total surface area of the cube is 6A square. The total surface area of right circular cylinder will be curved surface area plus the areas of the circular basis that is 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square. So, total surface area will be 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Now, we have a right circular cone. Here, the total surface area will be curved surface area plus base area which is circular. So, pi r l where l is slant height plus base area which is circular pi r square. So, total surface area will be pi r l plus pi r square. Now, let us consider a situation when we have combination of two solids. We have a cube with a right circular cylinder fixed on it. Now, if we are to calculate the total surface area of such a solid, how do we do it? Should we add the total surface areas of cube and right circular cylinder? Will that be right? No. Look here, we have the right circular cylinder with a base pi r square which is in contact with the face of a cube. So, as they are overlapped and they will be taken into consideration only once that is the curved surface area of cylinder plus pi r square base area and the surface area of the cube. So, when we calculate the total surface area of this solid, we will use the formula 6a square minus pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r square. So, we have here 6a square plus 2 pi r h which on calculation gives us when edge is taken as 9 centimeters and the diameter of the right circular cylinder is also 9 centimeters. So, radius obviously becomes 9 upon 2 that is 4.5 centimeters and height of the cylinder here is 8 centimeters. On calculating we have 6 into 9 square plus 2 pi r h. So, 2 into 3.14 into 4.5 into 8 centimeter square which on calculation gives us 486 plus 226.08 centimeter square that is 712.08 centimeter square. So, the total surface area of this combination of solid is 712.08 centimeter square. Now, let us consider one more situation when we have a right circular cone attached to the right circular cylinder. Now, look here. We have a combination of solids which is made up of three solid objects namely cube, right circular cylinder and a right circular cone. Here, what should be the total surface area? Should we add up the total surface areas of the individual solids? No, we should take care that here we have total surface area of combination of solid here is equal to surface area of the cube minus base area of the right circular cylinder plus curved surface area of the right circular cylinder plus curved surface area of right circular cone. Here we are neglecting the base areas of the cone and base area of the cylinder. So, we have total surface area of such combination of solids as 6a square minus pi r square 
plus curved surface area of the cylinder that is 2 pi r h plus curved surface area of the cone that is pi r l where l is slant height as 14 centimeters. Now on substituting the values we have 6 into 9 square minus 3.14 into 4.5 whole square plus 2 into 3.14 into 4.5 into 8 plus 3.14 into 4.5 into 14 centimeter square which on calculation gives us the total surface area of this combination of solid as 846.32 centimeter square. So students we have seen here that the total surface area of combination of such solids need not be equal to the sum of the total surface areas of the individual solids. You can try out the surface areas of such combination of solids on your own. Thank you.